back to my channel, it's Jasmine. For those who are new, I'm a casual reseller on the US and Canadian Poshmark app as well as eBay. Today's video is another what's sold video. This time I'll go over my sales for Poshmark Canada and eBay for the month of August. I can't believe it's September already and summer's over, but I guess that's just how it is. If you like reselling content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. As usual, I'm going to start off with my sales for eBay Canada. The first one being this Mitchell and Nessa B. Sanders jersey. This, I believe I picked up a bunch of jerseys from somebody locally on Facebook Marketplace and they end up being about $10 per jersey. I sold this one for $69.99 USD, so I did make a little bit more after conversion fees. Next sale was this ACM uh, 1899 soccer jersey. This was my husband's that he no longer wanted and this sold for $49.99 including shipping. This sale was a Tiger Cats jersey. This was a retail arbitrage pickup. I guess because CFL is starting again that I sold this jersey and this sold for an offer of $75 including shipping. This was another football jersey. This is the player Chad Johnson and this sold for $50.99 including shipping again in US dollars. This is yet another football jersey. This was a Nike Florida Gators jersey. I believe this was a vintage tag and this sold for an offer of $40 US. This is another of those collaboration pieces, the Harry Potter Vans um, collaboration piece. This sold for a full asking price of $165, including shipping. And again, just because the shoe price was above $100, I didn't have to pay any um, fees other than the listing fee of like 82 cents. The last sale on eBay Canada was another jersey. This sold for a full asking price. This was the player Odell Beckham Jr. It was brand new with tags. This again was picked up off of Facebook Marketplace and this sold for $94.99 with shipping included. Now onto my sales for Poshmark Canada. It was a very, very slow month for me on Poshmark Canada. I only sold a total of $715 for the platform. The first sale being this Aritzia TNA Sam Banks romper. I believe I also sold another one um, this month on Poshmark US, but this sold for $20. August 2nd to August 17th, I had no sales on the platform whatsoever. It was bone dead dry, and I finally made another sale on August 18th, which was this Anthropology Moth Vest. I believe it was a wool blend material, and this sold for a best offer of $30. This is a Lululemon, um, it's called the Fit Physique Tank, and this sold for an offer of 40. The buyer actually messaged me after the three days had passed and only gave me a one star saying that I only sent her a generic tank and not a Lululemon tank. So I kindly just messaged her in her bundle saying like, sorry, you were unhappy with your purchase. Like what made you think that's just a generic tank? I told her that it didn't have one of those metallic symbols um, as photographed in my listing. It had one of those tabs with the Lululemon logo instead. And she just messaged me saying that it had no logo whatsoever. So I'm not sure what happened. She said that she'd send me pictures so I told her just to create a listing to show the pictures, but she never did it So I don't know what happened or if she just isn't bothering with it I'm thinking that because it's one of those like two-in-one tanks She might have had it inside out so that the tag was like nowhere to be seen I'm not really sure I did show this in one of my recent thrift trips So it was a fast flip, but it's just unfortunate that I had to get a one star for it this was a retail arbitrage pickup. This was a mat and that crossbody bag. This was brand new with tags, obviously, and it sold, I believe I sent an offer of $90 with discounted shipping and somebody accepted. This was a Roots bundle. It was this um, faux leather crossbody like laptop bag along with this Roots silk top. And together, I believe I sent an offer of 60 and the buyer had counted to 55 and I accepted the offer. This was an Aritzia Wilfred sequin top. Looking back, I probably won't pick this up. It was really inexpensive, it was just a dollar, but it only sold for an offer of $15. So was it really worth it to spend a dollar to only make, I don't know, I think it's like $11 and something after fees and taxes. So I probably won't pick up this kind of item in the future. This was a Sunday Best uh, dress. It's called the Savoy dress, I believe. It was brand new with tags and it sold for, I believe I had it listed for $100. A buyer had offered me 75 and it was closet clear out day. I just messaged her saying, can we meet at 85 and you can also get discounted shipping, which she accepted. This was a pair of Everlane. It was kind of like a dress pant material. I don't know, but it sold for an offer of $60. And again, um, I asked the buyer if we could meet at 60 because I believe she offered me 50 and she could get discounted shipping for closet clear out and she accepted. This was a Spanx open bust bodysuit. This was a retail arbitrage pickup. It sold relatively quickly and it sold for a best offer of $70. 
This was another retail arbitrage pickup. This was a Madewell one-piece swimsuit. Uh, this sold for a best offer of 65. And again, it was closet clear out day. Messaged the buyer to see if they wanted discounted shipping, if we could meet at this price, and they accepted the offer. This was another retail arbitrage pickup. These were Madewell high-waisted shorts, and this sold for a full asking price of $60. This was my last sale of the month. This was a jeans bundle. It was this pair of Levi's 311 uh, black shaping skinny jeans along with this Madewell um, Bennett Road Tripper jeans. I believe my total came up to, I believe like 137 or something like that. And the buyer had sent an offer of 125, which was of course quite reasonable and I accepted the offer. So that concludes my sales for eBay Canada and Poshmark Canada. Again, I'll make a part two for my sales of August on Poshmark US. Again, a really slow month on Poshmark Canada. Poshmark US was also relatively slow, but better than Poshmark Canada. And for eBay, I'm glad with all the sales just because I don't really put any effort into my eBay account. I just list things here and there. I'm sure that if I was more active on the platform, I could kind of boost my sales. I might try to do that for the month of September because my son is starting school, so I might have a little bit more time to list and hopefully get things more organized. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.